The W126 was what happened when German engineers were given an unlimited budget and told to build the best car in the world, full stop. The level of over-engineering in the W126 was so extreme it bordered on the pathological. The doors closed with a bank vault thunk that made other luxury cars sound like tin cans. The paint wasn't just applied, it was layered like a renaissance masterpiece, with primer, base coat, color coat, and clear coat that could survive a nuclear blast. The body was galvanized to prevent rust with a process so thorough that finding a rusty W126 is like finding a modest billionaire. Theoretically possible, but highly unlikely. But the real magic was in the mechanicals. The engines, whether you got the inline 6 or the V8, were built with tolerances so tight that Mercedes engineers supposedly needed special clean rooms just to assemble them. These weren't high-strung performance engines, they were under-stressed masterpieces that could run at 80 mls all day, while barely breaking a sweat. The legendary OM6 Avalsabian diesel could run on basically anything flammable and would outlive your grandchildren. The gasoline engines were equally bulletproof, with many examples passing 500,000 miles with just regular maintenance. 